Hello YouTube, this is John. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to enable USB boot options on your Dell Inspiron laptops, and this would work on other versions. In my case, I have an Inspiron 15, 3000 model. And first of all, I'm going to power on the laptop, and I'll go ahead and click F12. So that we go to the boot menu. Uh, to show you that, we have issues on using the USB boot options on this laptop. So you wait for it to prepare to go to the boot options. So what we have here, we don't have the USB boot options on the boot menu and we have our USB put in our computer. So the only option you can do, you can go to BIOS setup right from here. In your case, if you don't have that option there, you can, I'm going to click Control Alt Delete to restart the computer. So I'll go ahead and I'll wait for the PC to switch off and I'll click F12, F2, sorry. F2, this one here, it's going to restart, I'll click F2, so the computer has shut down, then it's going to power on again, so you click F2, till you see preparing to go to the BIOS setup, so when you reach here, you're going to do uh, one change, uh, boot sequence, everything is okay, then you're going to go to this part is okay, advanced boot sequence it's okay we are not going to boot from the cd so you go to system configurations from here and then you go to usb boot configuration usb configurations then you have to enable this option and click apply and this will give us our usb to work on the computer then i'm going to click, click quit then when the computer restarts i'll go ahead and click f12 F12, so that we go to the boot menu. F12 is there. Then we wait for it to go to the boot menu. Then our boot menu, we have the USB boot options enabled. And then you click on it, then click enter. And this will load the Windows files from the USB after when you create a, a bootable USB drive. So in my case here, in your case, to, to may show a Windows logo, then to start loading here. In this laptop, it will first show the Dell logo, then to start load the Windows files from the USB, as you can see. So this is how quickly you can boot from the USB to your computer. So I'm going to stop from here, then you have to go ahead and do the step-by-step -step Windows installation. So thanks for watching. If this video has helpful, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon, like, comment, so that you can get help instantly. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.